Impressionism Music. Historical and Cultural Background of Impressionism Impressionism was originally applied to a painting done by Claude Monet entitled Impressionism Sunrise. It was scorned by critics of the old school and the name stuck since then and eventually applied to all other parts in that era including music. At the start of World War I, Impressionism was also in progress. This is Impressionism Sunrise by Claude Monet. It was a French reaction against the Germans romanticism. They argued that romantic music was too weighty and too exaggerated. The Impressionist wanted the musical meaning to be put into more subtle way, not just expressing it by volume or long length. Impressionism music focuses on mood and atmosphere, conveying the moods and emotions aroused by the subject rather than a detailed tone picture. It evokes a feeling instead of distinct details, and it creates vagueness and blurriness, but impactful music. Characteristics of Impressionism Music Rhythm Melody Harmony Form Dynamics Important things to remember in Impressionism music Whole tone scale. It is a scale consisting entirely of intervals of a tone with no semitones. Pentatonic scale. It is a use of five tones or notes. Example, the black keys of the piano. And we have a tonality, lack of tonal center. Composers and their works. Claude Debussy, 1862 to 1918. Claude Debussy was a French composer. He is sometimes seen as the first Impressionist composer, although he vigorously rejected the term. He was among the most influential composers of the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Born to a family of modest means and little cultural involvement, Debussy showed enough musical talent to be admitted at the age of 10 to France leading music college, the Conservatoire de Paris. He originally studied the piano, but found his vocation in innovative composition, despite the disapproval of the conservatoire's conservative professors. He took many years to develop his mature style and was nearly 40 when he achieved international fame in 1902 with the only opera he completed, Pelias et Melisande. This is Claude Debussy. Maurice Ravel, 1875-1937 Joseph Maurice Ravel was a French composer, pianist, and conductor. He is often associated with Impressionism along with his elder contemporary Claude Debussy, although both composers rejected the term. In the 1920s and 1930s, Ravel was internationally regarded as France's greatest living composer. Born to a music-loving family, Ravel attended France Premier Music College, the Paris Conservatoire. He was not well regarded by its conservative establishment, whose biased treatment of him caused a scandal. After leaving the Conservatoire, Ravel found his own way as a composer, developing a style of great clarity and incorporating elements of modernism, baroque, neoclassicism, and his later works, the jazz. He liked to experiment with musical form as in his best-known work, Bolero, in which repetition takes the place of development, he made some orchestral arrangements of other composers' music, 
of which his 1922 version of Mussorgsky's pictures at an exhibition is the best known. This is Maurice Ravel. Famous works of Claude Debussy. Famous works of Maurice Ravel. Thank you for watching Impressionism Music. I hope you learned something from this video. And please do not forget to like and subscribe our YouTube channel, Map Phenomenals. Thank you and God bless.